Hey guys, it's uh, General Heat here. How's everyone doing? Um, yeah, I've officially got a new mic, the Blue Yeti mic, which is, uh, as I've been told, a pretty high-end mic. Uh, and this is my first time using it, so I haven't really figured out all the uh, settings and all the ins and outs yet. So you know, just uh, bear with me while I you know start to learn it. So you know, it may not sound the best yet, but you know, I'm working on it, but hopefully you already hear like a better difference in audio quality. So yeah, you know, just give me feedback. If you guys know how to operate this mic a little bit better, just let me know in the comments. I could definitely use your help. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get on with this because we've got a pretty long video. So let's uh, get right to the explanation and tutorial. So today, this actually took us like years <laughs> to do. But, and I'll explain why it took years and why we only figured it out now. But basically, we are going to get every single vehicle on this mission into the final boss room against uh, against Tartarus. And that includes the Wraith. So that's why at the very beginning, we I punched the, um, the shipmaster. Well, he becomes a shipmaster later in Halo 3. Uh, I forgot what his name was. Uh, but anyways, we punched him off the edge of the cliff so that he doesn't take the Wraith with him. And we also saved the uh, Spectre here. You can get more of these vehicles later on, but it's just easier if you do it right, right at the beginning and just save them. Uh, and plus, that way you can ensure they're in pristine condition. Because I don't know about you guys, but I like the type that... I, and I, I've said this before in previous videos, but I'm like really OCD about keeping my vehicles in Halo uh, in pristine condition. So like, especially in Halo 2, like when vehicles get more easily damaged... If uh if I like dent my vehicle or like you know like a piece of armor falls off or something, uh, I just I'm like no I can't do this I just revert to last checkpoint and make sure that I don't <laughs> damage the vehicle at all. I don't know it's just something about it it's just I have to have like a perfect vehicle throughout the whole game as much as possible. But anyways once you have all the vehicles in place there at the beginning, just uh keep going until you get to the banshee part and just grab a banshee. And this part is also uh, very important. When you get your Banshee, you do not want to kill the Wraiths just yet. Just leave them be. I mean, you could kill them, but it'll make this a lot harder if you uh, kill them. So just make sure you save the Wraiths for now. And just uh, continue on as normal. You can take out the Spectres here. Unless you didn't save the Spectre at the beginning. In which case, you want to get these Spectres. But we did save the Spectre, so we are going to blow them up. Now, at this part, what you want to do is, oh, and this goes without saying, but you definitely need two people to do this. You cannot do it by yourself. And actually, before you start doing this on um, Halo 2 Anniversary on MCC, I do want to mention that this is actually not possible to do on the MCC version. And I'll explain why in a little bit, but in case you are like following these steps, don't do it on Master Chief Collection. You got to do it on the original Xbox and split screen co-op. Um, but I'm showing it to you on MCC because, well, it looks nicer, the quality is better, and the lighting is better and everything. So, it's just, you know, better looking. Uh, and, yeah, so anyways, at this part, you want to have the other player bring all the vehicles down the cliff here. And then they can kill themselves and respawn back up here on top of the uh, ledge. You need to be up here to respawn them, of course, so don't, you know, leave your banshee down here. Just stay up here and then keep respawning them until you got all the vehicles down. And uh, you might need a second Banshee sometimes, but not always. But just uh, at least save like two Banshees just in case. Now, once you got the vehicles down here, we can start moving it forward uh, and placing it in front of the door at the top where Jonathan uh, blows it open later. But just, you know, follow where this is going. Just climb up the mountain with the ghost and everything. Uh, I'm going to speed this up because it's going to take a while. Uh, I can tell you that the original video unedited was like over, it was like almost 40 minutes long without any editing at all. So I managed to trim it down to uh, only 17 minutes long. <laughs> but there are quite a lot of steps to this and it is, it is a little bit difficult to do, but um, we had quite a lot of practice. Um, Helios Girl is the one that helped me, and it it took a while, and took so many attempts, and in the end, we didn't realize that it just, 
it, we kept failing and like it was really hard and it shouldn't have been that hard but in the end it, the reason why we're failing is because it doesn't work on the master chief collection version of halo 2 and i really don't know why that's the case um but i'll explain my theory on that later and I'll, I'll tell you like where the difference happens but for now um assuming you're on if you're following this guide assuming you're on the uh, original xbox version or or even the 360 version and backwards compatibility uh just uh come back and grab the wraith and have the other person wait with a banshee around this general area because you'll want to come back a little later but with the wraith just um follow me where i'm going and uh just uh bring it up the ledge basically the same route but we're not going to bring it in front of the door we're going to uh, get the wraith in through another way the wraith is probably the the hardest vehicle to get in compared to all the others uh but it's it's not too hard and once you get used to it you know it'll be pretty easy now if you watch my previous videos about doing all these vehicles separately it's basically all the, the same methods just combine it all together in one synced together uh, oh and uh, for the wraith make sure you do destroy the right wing of it uh, so that you can do this part easier and I would recommend doing this part in classic graphics because the ledge is a lot more clear in cl uh, classic mode but you just want to get the wraith up this ledge here and boost up this part actually takes uh it usually takes me a couple tries uh, I was looking on the first try in this recording but other times it could take me multiple tries before I get up here but once you're up here just uh, keep going climb over that little ledge there and then come down here with the wraith and be very careful here because if you lose the wraith then well you have to <laughs> do this whole thing again and like I said it does take a long time it, it seems like it's pretty quick in the video but that's because I sped up a lot of parts and cut a lot of stuff out that wasn't needed but just carefully bring the wraith here and um, we're gonna park it on a ledge over here carefully though and just park it and line it up like how I have um, doesn't have to be perfect but this general um, I guess angle and position should do and once it's there you can get out and um, you don't have to exactly do this part it's possible for the other person to do it by themselves but it's it'll make it easier if you help them out so just do this part and come back here and get a banshee and now is where you want to fly back and destroy the uh, the wraith that you left the you left back there and the reason why you want to leave the wraith there is because once you destroy it you immediately get a checkpoint and you keep Johnson back there because if if you destroy them b before then Johnson will keep going and eventually um, he'll blow the doors open and most likely he'll blow the doors open faster than you can place all the vehicles in position and then you'll get a bad checkpoint where if you mess up you you have to redo a lot of the stuff but here we got all the vehicles in position so that when Johnson blows the door open we'll have a perfect checkpoint and we can redo this quite easily so now we're gonna let him blow the door open and now we're gonna move all the vehicles inside but not all the way inside just park it like right here in this room like just this general area to get the specter in through this little gap here sometimes if you boost into the right angle you can get it through easily but sometimes you might need a little bit of help from someone behind to uh, keep punching the specter and pushing it in but that's about it as for the banshee you, know, you want to fly it over that um, hole up there and to get it past this part you actually do need to shoot off the tips of the wings both the wings so that you can fit through um, the hallway there um, but <clears throat> let me just slow play normal speed here this part's important you want to hover the banshee like right here right before that little lava spot on the ground um, just keep the banshee like right behind it if you cross that line you'll load the uh, next part of the mission and you have to start this over again or revert to last checkpoint I mean so just make sure the banshee stays right before that spot and you want to have the other player in the banshee during that time because um, I'm not sure if it's an MCC thing or the original Xbox thing I didn't really want to test it out but sometimes when you hit the loading point the banshee disappears but the other vehicles won't so if you have someone in the banshee then it won't disappear and plus while they're in the banshee they can cross that line a lot faster because you do need pretty good timing on this part 
So what you want to do now is once you come back to the Wraith, get in. And here is where you want to count down with the other person. And you want to time it just right. And I'll show you what kind of timing you need. But in the Wraith, once you make sure you guys are synced together, just slowly move the Wraith to the left slowly off the ledge and just let it slowly fall off and as it's falling off we want the other person to boost forward with the banshee to cross the little line and hit the loading point right when the um, wraith is fully off the edge like when the wing is like just above like wh wh where it was in the video so pause and take a look and that's like the perfect position you want and then now you come back in here and the wraith should be inside that room but as I said this does not work on a master chief collection it works if you're doing with just the Wraith, but if you do with the other vehicles, I don't know why, but for some reason it just it doesn't work. And we tried so many times that and it it doesn't work with other vehicles. Only with the Wraith by itself this glitch works, but I don't know. Like the loading points in this area, the loading points are a little bit different than uh in the original Halo 2. So it's weird, like they've changed the loading points for some reason, or the loading areas, um, and, you know, it just only works on the original Xbox version. But as you can see, we got it there, and you can see on both screens there what the other player did. But, um, now we just come inside here, and, you know, if you mess up, you can just revert, uh, but if it worked, you'll have your Wraith in the room right here. Sometimes it'll be blown up, because uh, if you're like too early or too late, it might get stuck in the ground and therefore explode when you load into the room. But if you do it just right, it'll spawn in a good spot. In this case, we weren't perfect, so it got a little stuck there, but we can easily um, free the Wraith later. Now for the rest of the video, we're just going to... We're not quite done yet. We can't go inside the room yet. we got to move all the vehicles in here first, in this room, before we hit the cutscene. Otherwise, we lose the vehicles out here. So just move all the vehicles in. And as you can see, the Wraith is kind of stuck. Uh, but I'll cover how to um, free it later. So now, we're just going to free the Wraith. So to free the Wraith, this took me a few attempts to free it. But we were pretty, I was pretty much figuring this out on the, on the spot. Oh, and by the way, if the uh, lighting or color does look kind of weird in this original Xbox version, that's because I um I edited it so that the brightness is all the way up. Because without the brightness raised, it, the video is so dark. Like, and it's not just because like the recording; it's because on the original Xbox, the lighting is so bad. <laughs> like, you really take the lighting for granted on the newer versions on on the Master Chief Collection. But it's just so dark in like some areas, and it's hard to see even like in the video recording. So that's why I boosted the lighting and it's not like a perfect boost. So some things might look a little weird with the colors. But anyway, so as you can see, to free the Wraith, you do need to shoot all the wings off and then that'll pretty much release it. And then just drive the Wraith between the pillars. You have to like flip it between. Uh, and once it's through, then you can move the other vehicles there. Now, if you want to see the individual tutorials for each uh, vehicle, you can find them on my channel. I do have tutorials for every vehicle and how to get them in and same with the wraith I have, I have the individual tutorial and I revisited it before as well but anyways here you have it all the vehicles on this mission in the room the wraith the ghost the banshee and the specter all of them at the same time in the room I know a lot of you have probably seen videos of the Banshee. The Banshee is probably the most common and most popular on YouTube. You could fight Tartarus with the Banshee. And I know there's other videos with the other vehicles like the Spectre and the Ghost. But the Wraith, that's probably like the most challenging one to get in here. And it's even more challenging to get all of them in here. And But nevertheless, we have completed the challenge and it took so long for us to do it. We had everything recorded like a year ago, but then like... We, we stopped for a while because we, we couldn't figure out why I, we couldn't spawn the Wraith in. Because we were pretty sure our timing was perfect. But apparently not. And, you know, just the Wraith would never spawn. And so we gave up for like a whole year. And, you know, finally here we are again. Attempting this on the original Xbox. And it finally works. And it only took like two tries to get the Wraith to spawn in. 
I, I can't believe I didn't like think of this earlier because I, I, I didn't think like it would be that much of a difference between Master Chief Collection or Halo 2 Anniversary and the original Xbox version of Halo 2. But apparently, you know, there's more differences than I thought. Anyways, for the rest of this video, I'm just going to show you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get all the vehicles parked around the uh, grav lift. I know some were already destroyed and others will get wrecked as well. But I wanted to try to get as many vehicles in the cutscene as possible. But unfortunately, we only end up with two uh, in the cutscene. Oh, and it just got a lot darker because this is um, <laughs> this is what Halo 2 looks like without the brightness editing. But I do, I do just want to show this cutscene in the original, uh, what Halo 2 looked like originally. But, yeah, so, here we are in the cutscene, we have, we only have two vehicles in, but the Wraith was in a perfect spot for Miranda Keys to, like, walk right through it. And it's pretty funny <laughs> how it blocks her path, and she just phases right through, like it's not even solid. But that's basically how cutscenes work in Halo. <sighs> but, yeah, so, like I said, challenge complete. We got every single vehicle into the room, and... It took so long, but, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think, I think I might be the only one on YouTube to have ever done this, or at least the only one to have ever done it and made a video on it as well, but, you know, from my quick search, I don't think anyone else has done it before, but nevertheless, here it is, and for all your viewing pleasure, I know it's been a, quite a bit of a long video, but uh, if you're still here, thank you for sticking around, I do hope you did enjoy this, and I uh, found it to be interesting because uh, I bet a lot of you did not know you could get all the vehicles in. In fact, I think a lot of you didn't probably didn't even know that you could get the Wraith in here. But there you have it. All the vehicles in the room and quite a few in the cutscene as well. <laughs> well, a couple in the cutscene. But yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this and found it to be interesting. And as always... If you did, make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about the new mic and if there's anything else I can do to improve it. Just let me know because you know, I'm still learning the ins and outs of it. But other than that, uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to click the notification icon too so that you can stay up to date with our latest videos. And I will see you guys next time.